Hormonal Contraception by kscience.com. And the first contraceptive we're going to talk about is the pill. So the female will take one pill per day for 21 days. Then she'll take a placebo without the hormones for seven days so she can menstruate. So for those 21 days, she is taking the hormonal pill. And for the rest of the seven days, she needs to be able to menstruate so she comes off the pill. Taken properly, this method of contraception is 99% effective in preventing pregnancies. The pill will prevent a pregnancy. However, it does not prevent sexually transmitted infection transmission. It will not prevent you from getting or transmitting STIs because bodily fluids are still exchanged during sex. So the combined pill contains progesterone and estrogen. So what does the estrogen do that is in the pill? Well, the estrogen goes to the pituitary gland. And what estrogen does is it inhibits FSH prematurely. So if there's no FSH being produced, that means that the egg development and production will stop. So there'll be no egg development. So remember, high estrogen levels will stop FSH. So what will happen then is that there'll be no egg development as there'll be no FSH being produced. So there'll be no egg development. So therefore, there'll be no ovulation of an egg to get fertilized. So therefore, no ovulation will mean that there's no egg. So that means a sperm will not be able to fertilize something that isn't there. The progesterone works differently to the estrogen. The progesterone is going to cause a thick mucus to line the cervix. So when a man ejaculates into the vagina, the sperm will find it very difficult to enter the uterus from the vagina. This prevents the sperm from fertilizing the egg. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The hormonal patch is another form of contraception. It contains estrogen and progesterone. It contains estrogen and progesterone, which works in the same way as the pill does. The implant is implanted into the arm of a female and it contains progesterone, which is continuously released for two to three years. This constantly high progesterone level will prevent egg release and it also causes mucus to cover the cervix. The implant will prevent egg release and it also causes mucus to cover the cervix. Another form of contraception is the IUD or otherwise known as the coil. It's a T-shaped object that is placed into the uterus of a female. It is not a coil shape. The IUD or coil exists in two forms. One, which releases progesterone, releases progesterone, and the other, which is made of copper. The copper will kill the sperm. And the progesterone acts to coat the cervix in mucus. But first and foremost, the IUD or coil prevents sperm from surviving inside the uterus. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com. For more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.